Yes, there was a brief news conference, but it was brief but very emotional. In fact, Ruth Tillett, the mother of little William, that poor little victim, sobbed. The police chief and the mayor did speak, but they say they were both police officers in this department when that crime happened. In fact, uh, the mayor was the deputy chief at the time, and they say it was a crime that touched the entire department, but they are glad to have a suspect in custody. 50 year old Edward Donnell Thomas was taken into custody yesterday, or rather last week, at his home in Pomona. He was charged yesterday with one count of murder with special. Uh, allegations of kidnapping and lying in wait. It was back on May 24th, 1990, that 11 year old William Dillett was kidnapped while walking home from Q Elementary School. His body was found hours later in a carport. Police feel he didn't commit the crime alone, and now they're looking for help from the public. This crime occurred on May 21st, 24th of 1990. I was the deputy chief of police here. I remember that day like it was yesterday. The Inglewood Police Department has never given up on this case and has been actively looking into this horrific event for 29 years. We also believe that Mr. Thomas did not act alone in this case. So we are seeking the public's assistance uh, to give us any information they may have, any piece of information. With us being so close, I just want to keep the momentum going and I just want to plead with the community to just come forward, take a look at this picture, and if anything jogs your mental Rolodex from three decades ago, just please contact them. Now, police are not saying what led them to Thomas. Now, he was in court yesterday, but his arraignment was continued until April. If he is convicted of all of the charges, he could face the death penalty or life in prison. Reporting live in Inglewood, Amy Johnson, CBS2 News. All right, Amy, and another big break in another local cold case also dating.